don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but my sweater is like the best. It's got a reindeer, and then the back, he's pooping peppermints. I really hope that you guys are actually able to see that because I love it. So It's your girl Jay and today is Christmas so Merry Christmas Happy Holidays I hope you're having a wonderful day today I thought that we would do the Christmas Carol book tag so this tag was originally created by Lauren Wade I wasn't tagged by anybody but since it is Christmas I thought that a Christmas tag was appropriate so let us get started the first prompt is Ghost of Christmas Past and it is a book that is a childhood favorite it is The Big City Tricks by Tracy West this is the series that I think was like my favorite when I was younger because you got to like write in the back of it and like put in stickers and stuff and like when you're a kid writing in the book like that's forbidden and you know you're not allowed to do it so when there's an actual book that like tells you to write in the back of it that's like super exciting. This book is like actually like falling apart because I've read it so many times front to back. It holds a special place in my heart. So the next yeah. prompt is The Ghost of Christmas Present and that is a recent book that you read that you think will be one of your new favorites. I am choosing Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I read this I think in October or November. I can't remember but I really loved it. I read the entire series like back to back because I read the first book and adored it so much. I'm pretty sure I have a full review up of it. If you're interested, check it out. But I just love the atmosphere and the characters and just they hold a special place in my heart now. I know that is going to be one of my favorite books for 2019, so. The next prompt is The Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come and you are to say a book that is releasing soon that you are excited for. I am choosing King of Crows by Libba Bray. It is the fourth and final book in the Diviner series. It comes out February 2020 and I am beyond excited for it. I, again, just love that series. I love the atmosphere. I love the characters. I just love the whole story. So I'm super excited to see where it ends. Prompt four so. is Bahumbug and it is a book that everybody else seems to love but you hate. Mine is definitely Furyborn by Claire Legrand. I hated that book and it seems to be on like everybody's favorite list. They like love it so much but like I was so close to DNFing it so many times but I have like a really hard time with DNFing books so I didn't. I pushed through and I still just like hated it. It was just super boring to me. I didn't care about the characters didn't care what happened to them and just like the whole plot like I thought was dumb so clearly just me but not a fan and it's really weird because Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand is like really good in my opinion I really liked it but something about Fury Born and me just did not vibe well prompt five is a Bob Cratchit and this is a old dependable that you recommend often um if you've been on this channel for a while like this should not come to any surprise to you because it is my favorite book of all time and it is what I tell everybody to read every two seconds when they ask me for a recommendation. It's Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen. This is like a steampunk dystopian book where music is used as a weapon and I think that it is super underrated but I didn't want to use it for my underrated book because I want to talk about a different book for that but I highly recommend you guys check this one out. Sophia is just like such a talented writer. She's coming out with an adult book soon called Night Strider so I'm really excited for that too. It also has two other books in this series, Radio and Siren, so I definitely recommend checking out the whole trilogy because it just like ends and ties together so perfectly. So definitely check it out. It's available on Amazon if you're interested. Prompt definitely. 6 is Tiny Tim and it is to recommend an underhyped book. I'm going with Temper by Lane Fargo. I read this in like March I think of 2019 and it instantly became one of my new favorites. It's a mystery thriller novel in the Chicago play scene and it like follows this director who's known for like manipulating and like playing mind games with his actors and actresses and this one girl is having a tough time. It finally makes a big break. She is casted as the lead in this play that is directed by this director named Malcolm and she thinks that she can handle it but she ain't handling it and it's basically the story of that but it is like so good it's such like a mind fuck honestly like you don't see half the things that come and like you're trying to figure out who's playing who and it's just like a good old time highly recommend super underrated 
check it out. Prompt 7 is today why it's Christmas day and you are supposed to say a book that gets you in the Christmas mood. I don't think I have like a specific book that I read for Christmas. Oh no okay so every year when I was little we would read the night before Christmas like my mom would read it to us and then like we would read it to her as we got older so I guess like that would get me in the Christmas mood but like I said I don't think I have like a specific book that I read every single Christmas like I know a lot of people read Harry Potter I just don't so I'm gonna say the night before Christmas and then prompt eight is the Muppet Christmas Carol you're supposed to say your favorite book to movie adaptation I don't think I really have one but I was looking on my bookshelf and I saw a room by Emma Donahue and I did really love the book and I did really enjoy the movie so I'm gonna say that this is my favorite but I've never really like sat down and thought about it but this one's really good. If you don't know, it's about a little boy whose mother was kidnapped and then she became pregnant in this room that she was kidnapped in and she ends up having the kid in the room so that's all he's ever known and he has to try to escape with his mom and it's like a grand old time. Not a grand old time because that sounds creepy but it's a really good book so the movie was good too but highly recommend reading the book first and then watch the movie. Alright everybody so that was the Christmas Carol book tag. I tag everybody like it's Christmas right now so I feel like you're not gonna go do it but it's fine. Um, let me know down below some Christmassy things that you are doing. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then tell me some wintry things that you're doing today. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!